Hello, I'm Janet Rees, I'm the Admissions Officer and I'm going to talk you through the application process. Now, obviously, normally we'd be giving you a prospectus on our open evening and that would include a copy of our admissions policy and the supplementary form. This year, unfortunately, you're going to have to download that information from our school website. You click on the admissions section on the home page and then select main school and there you'll find general information and links to the various documents. But the following slides will outline the process for your application. Lancashire County Council coordinate admissions to Year 7 for all schools. And if your child's in Year 6, you can apply for their secondary school place now at www.lancashire.gov.uk forward slash schools. It's quick and easy to do, and you'll receive an email confirmation of your application. You need to complete the online form to show your three preferences for secondary schools by the 31st of October. If you're unable to make an online application, you'll have to contact the District Education Office for a paper version. All Lancashire schools operate a system of equal preferences. When you complete the online form, you'll be asked to list your choice of schools in priority order, but we won't know which schools you may have applied for or your order of preference. We can't see your online form and we don't receive any paper copies. The order that you place schools is used only by the local authority when they come to finally allocate places, so that if more than one school is able to offer your child a place, you'll be allocated the one that you've given the highest priority. At the beginning of December, all we receive is an alphabetical list of every child who has named us as one of their three choices. So all applications made for a place here are considered equally as if everybody has put us as their first choice. We have to return that list of names to the local authority giving an individual rank order to each applicant. And that rank order is determined by how far each application meets our admissions criteria. We have 280 places available for admission to year seven in September and applications are ranked in this order. As is the case with all schools, priority is given to looked after or previously looked after children. Looked after children mean those who are in the care of the local authority when the application is made and who are still likely to be in care on the 1st of September next year. Previously looked after children are those who were adopted or were subject to a residence or special guardianship order immediately following having been in care and they will automatically go to the top of our list. Next are places for the children of staff at this school who have a permanent contract of employment with us. And then the criterion, which will apply to the vast majority of you. Pupils are ranked using a point system, which reflects the fact that we're a Church of England school. And most of the points that can be awarded are for church attendance. The church you attend has to be a Trinitarian church and must be a member of one of the following organisations. Churches Together in England, the Free Churches Group, the Evangelical Alliance, the Northwest Partnership of Churches, or is included on a list of other churches approved by the governors. The list on the left shows the more common denominations but there are others and you can check the various websites as shown at the bottom of this slide for full details. Chances are that the church you attend will be a member. So for example, any Church of England or Roman Catholic parish church. It tends to be smaller independent churches or groups which aren't. The four churches shown on the right have been approved by the governors, even though they aren't members of those groups. Applications for children from non-member churches or of other faiths won't receive any points for attendance at their place of worship. 
If you or your child attend one of these churches, you should complete our supplementary form to give us the information we need about the regularity and period of your attendance. This needs to be at public worship and doesn't include attendance at church by the child as part of their normal school day. And if you've attended more than one church regularly in the last two or three years, you'll need to complete separate supplementary forms for each one so that we can get a full picture and allocate the correct number of points. Your vicar or minister must countersign your form to confirm the information that you've provided. And the supplementary forms need to be returned to us by the 31st of October. Church attendance has to be current at the time of application. Of course, with the COVID-19 pandemic, churches have been closed since March and many are still not open fully for public worship. With that in mind, the Church of England have agreed a variation to church school admissions policies, which takes the current situation into account. Clergy are to assume that attendance for the closed period would have continued to be in line with the previously observed pattern and they should include the period of closure in the overall period of attendance. Church of England clergy in the Diocese of Blackburn have all been advised of this, but we've given the same information on the back of the supplementary form so that clergy from other denominations are aware of how they should verify your attendance. Now this really shouldn't have much of an impact on applications for next September. This is a summary of how many points are allocated for each criterion shown in our policy. For church attendance, the points vary according to the regularity and a period of attendance. You'll see that no points are given if attendance has been for less than six months at the point of application. So even if churches had remained fully opened and you decided you'd start to attend in April this year, for example, you wouldn't have received any points. But to give another example of how the situation is now, say you started to go to church weekly in June 2019, you would have been going for less than a year at the time that church is closed in March. However, we and clergy will assume that you would have continued to go weekly had churches remained open. So by October this year, you'll be deemed to have over a year's weekly attendance and will be awarded 25 points. We want to know the attendance of either a parent or the child, not both and not a combination of the two. And you must tick one box only on the supplementary form. So as you can see, there's a maximum of 30 points for church attendance and further points will be awarded in the following circumstances. If your child currently attends a Church of England primary school, they'll get 10 points and five points will be allocated where a pupil will still have a sibling on roll here next September. We have to provide an individual rank order for all applications. So where two or more applicants achieve the same number of points, the straight line distance from home to school is used to separate them. Those with nearer addresses being ranked higher than the more distant ones. We do get a lot of inquiries from people who live some distance away, asking how that will affect their application. But we don't have a specific catchment area the distance is only used as a tiebreaker for otherwise equal applications. So for example, somebody living in Garstang who has 30 points would be ranked lower than somebody in Lancaster with that same number of points, but higher than anybody wherever they live with 25 points. If we receive an application without a supporting supplementary form, it will be considered after all others and will be ranked using the measure of the straight line distance from home to school as used in the tiebreaker situations. Once we've considered all the applications and given a rank order to each one, we send the list back to the local authority. 
and it's then their responsibility to try and match offers of places according to the priority of the preferences that you will have made on your common application form. If places at more than one school could be offered to a child, they'll allocate the school prioritised highest by parents on their application. And they work down our list, taking out pupils who've been offered a place to school which has been listed as a higher preference until all our 280 places are filled. There's no way we can tell you in advance how many points you would need to get to secure a place here. It isn't that we set a minimum figure, you're just competing against others who apply in the same year and the number of points achieved by the last child to be admitted varies each year. If you've attended church regularly for a number of years, you will of course come high in our rank order and should have no problem being offered a place. But please don't think that it isn't worth applying if you can't tick the boxes for maximum church attendance. We encourage you to complete and return the supplementary form if you can have any church attendance verified. The last child to be awarded a place in the current year seven had five points and lived 1.25 miles away from school. However, you can't assume that if in a previous year children were admitted with just points for having a sibling on roll or because of the primary school they attended, that that will always be the case. If this is the school that you most want your child to come to, you should put it as your first preference on the common application form. Because of the equal preference system that all schools have to operate, your application to another school won't be disadvantaged just because you haven't put them first. They, like us, will rank your application to them according to their admissions criteria with no knowledge of your order of preference. If you fulfil the criteria of a different school that you put as your first choice, you will be allocated that school no matter how high you are on our ranked list. So here are the key dates that you need to be aware of. By the 31st of October, the common application form listing your three preferences for secondary schools must be completed online or returned to the local authority or your primary school if it's done on paper. If Ripley is one of your choices, all supplementary forms must be returned to us by the same date. The offer of a school place comes to you from the local authority. Online applicants will be able to view their own offer on the system in the morning on the 1st of March. Letters will be posted by second class post to others. As a reminder, the admissions policy in supplementary form can be downloaded from our website. The policy that applies to your application is the one marked September 2021 intake. Please make sure you download that one and its associated supplementary form as it's slightly different from previous years. If you have any queries that haven't been answered in this presentation, please email us at the address shown on screen and we'll respond to you as soon as we can.